It's official that Canelo Alvarez will put his undisputed super middleweight world titles on the line against Chami Manja on May 4th, and the boxing world is buzzing about this fight. Daz and Boxing's official X account broke the news that a match between Canelo Alvarez and Chai Mangia has been made official for May 4th at the T-Mobile Arena in Las Vegas. The post was captioned, Done deal Canelo Alvarez will take on Chai Mangia for the undisputed WBC, WBA IBF, and WBO Super Middleweight World titles on Saturday, May 4th. Live at Daz.com. This news was later confirmed by Canelo Alvarez himself who took to his Instagram account and posted a video clip, which was captioned as Mexico versus Mexico. Este próximo 4 de mayo, mi pelea contra Jaime Munguía en la Team Móvil Arena, México contra México. ¡Viva México, cabrones! There were many other options for Canelo, like Gerald Charlo, David Benavides, and Jose Ben Aids. However, he has now chosen Shai Mangia, who opposes his initial statement of not fighting a Mexican fighter on May 4th. Chai Mangia has previously shown his interest in a Mexican fighter on May 4th. Chai Mangia has previously shown an interest in fighting Canelo. He stated that he would very much like it to be in Mexico City at the AA Stadium. It would be something very important, but the truth is that wherever the scenario is, it will be a great fight against Canelo. He is dangerous because of his right hand. I've seen him punch with all his strength. You have to be very careful when you go in to hit it. The pros are making their predictions for the fight. Eddie Hearn believes that Canelo has the experience and the IQ to defeat Manja. As he stated, I think Canelo is heavy-handed, and I think he has heavier hands than Hey Manja. I think he's technically better, and I think his IQ is much higher. But Eddie also mentions the age advantage that Haim has over Canelo. Eddie stated, but Chime has one thing on his side, which is youth. Although he's 43 now, which is quite bizarre, he's young and fresh, and he's been in a couple of wars, but Canelo is not young and fresh anymore. Eric Kelly also believes that Canelo will beat Haim, but questions him about why he didn't fight David Ben, which apparently everyone wanted to see. Styles make fights. Canelo know what he's doing. Canelo know what he's doing. Styles make fights. Is it a competitive fight, though? For a little bit. For a little bit. But I thought Canelo didn't want to fight Mexicans no more. Did that only matter when it was been Jane Mungvia promoter Oscar De La Hoya believes that this fight is going to be a showdown. He stated, when serious things happen, I'm glad I'm back. Let's put it that way. All I want to do is put the best against the best. I'm really looking forward to being by your side and watching a great fight. I have no apology to Alvarez because I have no idea what I did to him to end the relationship. As a man myself, I would say I'm in your corner 1000%. I love what you're doing, fighting the best, that's my mantra. He's been doing it for a long time. I believe this fight is going to be a great and even contest. Timothy Bradley thinks that Canelo not fighting Ben Offs is a tactical move by Canelo. He believes that Canelo wants to finish on top, and a fight against Ben Aids would be a risky one. Bradley stated Canelo again. I'm going to tell you guys again, he's trying to maximize his money. He's trying to exit the game still on top and that's the reason he won't fight against Benz. There is no point for him to fight against Ben Offs in his eyes because he feels that he's already done enough in the sport. Canelo feels like it won't even add to his legacy. This is why he has gone for the easier fight against Mangia. Julio Cesar Chavez believes that Mangia is not ready for Canelo yet and has to fight more credible fighters. Contra mexicano Jaime Munguía, para ti, que tú sabes lo que es enfrentar a peleadores mexicanos y el legado que eso deja, ¿tú consideras que eso le ayudaría a Canelo? Pues mira, eh, Munguía es un peleador que va, eh, que va en crecimiento, ¿me entiendes? En, en su última pelea demostró que, que está apto para pelear con Canelo, con Benavides. Eh, yo me gustaría que, que hiciera unas dos peleas más en 168 libras para ver realmente su potencial, ¿me entiendes? Porque... A mí este peleador de, de ¿cómo se llama? Jovin Ryder. Se, se me hace un peleador eh, muy tosco, un peleador malo, la verdad, pero fuerte. Yo, yo, yo pienso que, que debe de hacer una o dos peleas más y luego pelear con, con los... Jay Munglia believes that this fight makes sense for the business as well as on the competitive side of the sport. Polly stated that I've made some points about this fight in the last couple of days. 
The fact that they're both Mexican fighters probably makes it a big fight, marketing-wise and pay-per-view-wise. I mean, Canelo sold a million pay-per-views while fighting Chavez Jr., who stinks, so I mean, I can take the Mua fight. Hain is an ex-world champion, he's competitive, and he's a good fighter. I think it will sell pay-per-views, and it's more of a marketing strategy going after Manja, who's a marketable guy and still a guy who can fight, so I think this fight makes sense. Mexican trainer Abel Sanchez believes that Canelo Alvarez vs. Manja makes more sense than Canelo vs. David ADL stated. Well, we all know that Canelo, at this stage of his career, is in the driving seat. Although I would have loved him to fight one or two times more, it makes sense to be Canelo's next opponent, and I also think that Canelo shouldn't have gone for Benavides because of the way Benavides and his father were calling Canelo out. I mean, come on, Canelo has done everything for the sport. He doesn't have to prove anything with the fight now officially announced. Canelo has started putting in the work, as he has seen training recently. The anticipation is palpable as the boxing world eagerly awaits the clash between Canelo Alvarez and Chai Mangia, set to take place on May 4th. This showdown marks a historic moment as Canelo puts his undisputed super middleweight world titles on the line against Mangia, promising an electrifying bout that has fans buzzing with excitement. The news of this epic match was first unveiled by DAZN's official X account, confirming that Canelo Alvarez and Chai Mangia will face off at the renowned T-Mobile Arena in Las Vegas. The announcement sent shockwaves through the boxing community, with enthusiasts eagerly marking their calendars for the highly anticipated event. Canelo Alvarez himself later took to his Instagram account to share a video clip confirming the bout, igniting further excitement among fans. His caption, Mexico vs. Mexico, underscores the significance of this matchup between two formidable Mexican fighters, adding an extra layer of intensity to the showdown. The decision to select Chai Mangia as his opponent was not without its deliberations. Despite other viable options such as Gerald Charlo, David Benavides, and Jose Ben Aids, Canelo ultimately chose Mangia, contrary to his initial reluctance to face a fellow Mexican fighter on May 4th. Mangia had previously expressed his desire to square off against Canelo, even suggesting Mexico City's AA Stadium as a potential venue for the bout. Regardless of the location, both fighters are poised for a monumental clash, with Mangia's formidable right hand posing a significant threat. As anticipation mounts, pundits and experts have begun weighing in on the potential outcome of the fight. Eddie Hearn, for instance, believes in Canelo's experience and boxing IQ, tipping him to emerge victorious over Manja. However, he acknowledges Manja's youth as a potential advantage, citing the age disparity between the two fighters. Similarly, Eric Kelly expresses confidence in Canelo's ability to secure a win, albeit questioning his decision to pass up a fight against David Benavides, a matchup that garnered significant interest from fans. Promoter Oscar De La Hoya shares in the excitement surrounding the bout, predicting a thrilling showdown between the two fighters. Despite any past disagreements with Alvarez, De La Hoya expresses unwavering support for the fight, emphasizing his commitment to pitting the best against the best. Meanwhile, Timothy Bradley suggests that Canelo's decision to avoid a bout with Ben Aids is a strategic move aimed at preserving his legacy and financial interests. Not everyone is convinced of Manja's readiness to face Canelo, however. Julio Cesar Chavez expresses skepticism about Manja's preparedness, suggesting that he needs to face more credible opponents before taking on a fighter of Canelo's caliber. Despite differing opinions, there's a consensus that this matchup holds significant business potential and promises riveting competition. Mexican trainer Abel Sanchez believes that the alvarez Mangia fight makes more sense than a potential clash with David Benavides, citing Canelo's established position in the sport. With preparations underway, Canelo has been seen diligently training, signaling his readiness to defend his titles against Manja. As the countdown to May 4th begins, anticipation continues to build for what promises to be an unforgettable night of boxing, showcasing the talents of two formidable fighters on the world stage. So what do you think about this fight? Are you excited for this, or did you want Canelo vs. David Benavidez? 
to let us know in the comments section below if you enjoyed this video. Make sure to subscribe and check out some of our other videos on the screen right now.